On this week's Bob Redfern's Outdoor Magazine, Bob heads to Santee, South Carolina for some early fall cat fishing. Plus, on this week's Sportsman's Table, we feature a colored green egg roll. All this and a whole lot more, and it begins right now. We shot this hard. Look at that. Wow. Let me hold that thing. Nice. Fish on. Okay. Whoo. Just keep it slow. I suggest just keeping it slow. Don't, don't fight him. Got it, man. Got it. it. Well, folks, welcome to the show today. We're back on Santee. And I tell you what, I've got some special guests with me, but I tell you, we were doing some catfishing. Now, when's the last time you ever saw Redfern doing some catfishing? Well, I tell you what, we've come down here with Doug Allen, he's our guide today with Doug's Guide Service, and I've got State Senator Larry Grooms. Larry, Bo, I, 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 you know, I'm waiting on him to balance out over here. Well, I, I know, whoa, whoa. we might, we <laughs> might, we might. Read we may get a double, get him. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. We got double. Oh, wow. I'm awesome. Okay. Awesome. Man, nothing like catfishing on the sand, too. Is that not true? Larry is from Bono. He grew up on this lake as well as, as Doug. And also joining us today is the former director of the South Carolina Parks, Rec, and Tourism, and that's Mr. Buddy Jennings. But really, uh, you know, Larry, <laughs> yeah. I love fishing, and I know you love fishing. I do, too. <laughs> you don't get to do it much, but I tell you what. The efforts that you put forth on this lake for conservation, I mean, as you're reeling in that fish, I know you're thinking about all those wonderful bills that you've had over the years, but you have really done some great work supporting the fishery down here in the State Senate in South Carolina. Well, it takes a lot to maintain a world-class fishery, and we have one here. Uh, when you got stripers it. <laughs> went in decline, we needed to take some action. When these trophy catfish went in decline, we needed to take some action to make sure that there's plenty of fish for the younger generation to be able to catch. Well, you're absolutely right. Go and under, go under that boat. Put your rod under it and just ride him back around there. Keep him in his uh, water, Larry. There you go. Yep. All right. I'm telling you. How you coming, Larry? Are you getting yours in? All right, Bo. Man, you know, there is really some great news stories, Larry, and you've been behind most of it, about the resurrection of the blue cats and the catfishing here, as well as the striper population on Santee. And I, mean, I believe you got me. I don't know. That, that's you pretty, got that's me. Pretty you guys will hold these up and get a picture? Yeah, look at that. Uh-oh. You didn't get your faces. <laughs> oh, man. We can hook Larry back up if you want. <laughs> All right, those are uh, good sandwiches. Let's get them back in and let's see if we can't get the bigger ones. All right, let's do it. Well, listen, let's talk real quick about all your efforts over 23 plus years of supporting your home, which is right here on this system, and all that you've done in the state legislature and the Senate. I mean, you're a member of the Education, and Transportation, and Finance Committees, and so the folks here I know are very, very proud of, of what you've done for their livelihood here. Well, it's, it's about preserving what we have. It's all about a better way of life, um, standard of living, quality of life, and this is heaven. I mean, the quality of life here, our, our lakes, our rivers, our streams, you get down into the Cook River to our salt marshes, it's important that it's a sense of place that needs to be protected and preserved for the next generation because we can destroy what we have. And then the folks like me uh, and won't be able to enjoy things later on in life. Um, this is this is heaven. It needs to be protected. So I think we've done a good job. Uh, you see growth in other areas. You can take a look at what happened in other states, and they really destroyed what made their home special. We're going to do what we can to keep our home special. Well, you know, I want to specifically ask about the resurrection of the striped bass because again, that's really unique here on this lake because most and I say most of other parts of the country, that's a put and take thing, okay? They raise them in hatcheries and then they release them and this and that, and then they grow. Here, tell all the folks out there really what's special about this lake and striped bass and what you all figured out to do. Well, this is the home of the landlocked striped bass. All freshwater bass, uh, freshwater 
um, striped bass, they originated from the Santee Cooper Lakes. When the lake project was completed, they closed the dam and there was some striped bass that were trapped in the Santee Cooper Lakes. And lo and behold, the biologists didn't believe it, but they reproduced in this lake. And it was then discovered that rockfish can reproduce in fresh water. Some hatcheries um, were built and all the striped bass throughout our country now can trace their roots to the Santee Cooper Lakes. So we have natural reproduction in this lake. Uh, we also have um, fish hatcheries that help with that production. And over time, uh, the fishery was overfished. Um, the, the big striped bass that I caught when I was a little kid, they disappeared. Uh, when my kids, my little boys, uh, we'd go out looking for rockfish to show them what things were like when, when I was their age, they weren't here. Um, and in conjunction with DNR, we're able to pass some protections for the striped bass, and the fishery is now back. I mean, just, just earlier uh, this week, I caught a pretty nice one uh, right, off the, um, right off the end of uh, my dock at the house, so that was pretty neat. Well, you know, Larry, I will tell you, there's just not many uh, legislators that do what you've done for not only the state, but for Department of Natural Resources and, and your home. And I know that folks here are proud of that. I know you're proud of that. And, you know, when you get that opportunity as a legislator to do these kinds of things, I know it has to be rewarding. Oh, it is. It is. I, it, it is rewarding knowing that this place is protected. Uh, that the fishery is strong, and listen, uh, I hope other people will come and enjoy what I've come to enjoy and love. I mean, the Santee Cooper Lakes is a great place to spend some time. It's a great place whether you're catfish, rockfish, brim, um, uh, largemouth, uh, it, it's here. It's all here, and come on, world. We're open for business. Stay tuned after commercial break. More catfishing from Santee, South Carolina. No matter if you're hunting private property or public property, make sure you're wearing an orange hat, vest, or coat of solid, visible international orange so that you will be seen and identified as a hunter, not as a game animal. Wearing visible orange could save your life. Be safe, be seen. Take a moment to think about the food you buy and eat. Is it fresh? I mean really fresh. Or is it shipped from a grower hundreds or even thousands of miles away? Well. Here in South Carolina, we celebrate fresh, locally grown food and unforgettable meals with family and friends. So, choose food that's rooted right here. Choose certified SC grown. It's a matter of taste. The fear of failure is failure itself. The world of science rewards the ones who are willing to try and fail. Because without the courage to embrace failure, ideas remain ideas. But with that courage to fail and to learn, ideas can change the world. While on the waterways, it is required by law for the boat captain to have at least one personal flotation device that properly fits, is readily accessible, in good condition for each individual on that vessel. But here in South Carolina, we prefer you wear them. Nestled in the western part of South Carolina is the Old 96 District. Comprised of Abbeville, Edgefield, Greenwood, Lawrence, and McCormick Counties, this region is rich in history, fishing, hunting, and small town flavor. Old 96 District is part of the South Carolina freshwater coast, covering over 2,000 miles of shoreline which offer many fishing opportunities and is home to the only wild turkey museum in the world. Local businesses offer a wide variety of unique gifts and foods. Make sure you discover the undiscovered wonders of the Old 96 District of South Carolina. Bob Redfern's Outdoor Magazine is being brought to you today by these following sponsors. Chevrolet, the official vehicle of Bob Redfern's Outdoor Magazine. By the South Carolina Agriculture Department, it's a matter of taste. By the Old 96 District of South Carolina, Come discover the unexpected wonders by South Carolina Embroidery and Screen Printing, your source for all your promotional product needs. And by the City of Florence, South Carolina. Florence is full life, full forward. <laughs> Get it, buddy. All right. Oh, man. Is it a big one? I, I don't know. <laughs> 
Oh, my oh my gosh. gosh. Oh, look at here. Look at here. Oh, well, folks, join us again. As I said earlier on the show, this is Buddy Jennings. He's the former director of the South Carolina Rex and Park and Tourism. And, I, and we brought him along today to talk to talk tourism right, here at Santee right? Cooper Country. Get in, here real quick. get in there, Doug. Get in there, Bo. And Buddy may have the. Oh, Larry, I think he's got the catch of the day. Look at that. Oh, my gosh. Look at that. You know, I, I let you have my spot. I know, and I appreciate it. Yeah. <laughs> you know, we talk about smiling faces and beautiful places. This Woo. is a beautiful place. Look, Look. Nice place. oh, wow. nice, nice blue right there. That's the kind of fish I like to catch. Right mm hmm. Yeah. Mm. What do you think about that, Senator? There we go. That's where they're supposed to be. Uh, right in the corner of the mouth. That's where uh, it's right where it's supposed to be. To be. Yes, that's right. Look at there. Uh -huh. I tell you what, Doug. I'm going to let you take him out because, uh, as I learned a long time ago, never guide the guide. Well, we got the net uh, caught in the hook here. Oh, uh, okay. Well, we can, we can get there. But you know, Buddy expects nothing less to get his <laughs> fish in here. You know how you know how Buddy can be. There we go. There we go. Right, now we'll get the hook next. Yep. Mm-hmm. Oh, listen at him talk at us. Now, you know, I, I have to I have to say. Beautiful blue. All right, buddy, you gonna hold him up? You ain't gonna hold him. <laughs> Come on, boys. Get in. Well, I'm gonna hold him right here. Get over here. Come on get in here, Larry. We're all gonna pose and style the profile with, with Buddy's fish, huh? That's right, Buddy's fish. Hey, Santee's, Santee's finest right Santee's there. Come on, get in here, Doug. Get up here. Oh my gosh. All right. We going we're gonna go we're gonna go back in the water with this one? Yeah. Let's all right. get a little bigger. Catch right. him, catch him yeah. around. You know what? Let's let him grow up a little bit. All right, Bo, here we go. Oh fish boys, fish. He's on. He's on, he's on. <laughs> okay. Are you going to let me do this one? Are you sure you don't oh, want this no. one? Oh, huh? no. That's all yours this time. Oh, my gosh. You know, Doug, I can't entertain you to come up here. Oh, I know. He just puts us on fish. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Keep away from the other lines. We're okay. Too much. Um, back towards the center. There I got you. Go. I'll tell you what. That 30-pound test line is kind of hard to see, Larry. Mm. <laughs> but how's it feel? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't know. You know, of course you got me so far. Okay, <laughs> well, you got me. I think you're gonna catch me this. Well, time. you know, buddy, he's got the biggest one. Uh, I just, uh, I'm just, I'm just glad that I'm in mixed company of both of you guys, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Good time on the lake. Yeah, I'm telling you, it is. Okay. Oh, there he is. Yeah, I got him. I got him up. Not to worry. You net him. Just reel down to it. All right, there he goes. That's okay. That, that is that's a good eating catfish right yes, there. Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, now we that, got you this know, is a good one. That's what I love you style it and profile it. The style it and profile it. That's it. Mm. Got you the Santee cup of catfish. I tell you what, I got my net guide union card. I'll even <laughs> I'll even net it for you when you get him up here. <laughs> Oh, goodness. Mm. Wow. Oh, yeah. You know, the wind's picking up just a little bit. Um, maybe that's caused the bite to kind of pick up, too. But, you know, we... Some, sometimes the big ones sleep late. <laughs> yeah, they do. That's true. Yeah. Of course, most of them have been up most of the yeah. night eating, actually. Yeah. But, you know, that's one of the things down here, too, Larry. A lot of the guides in the summertime, when you're talking July through August, or even sometimes in September, it's so hot. You get on the boat at 4 o'clock in the afternoon. Here he comes. All right, we'll bring him in. Now I got it. Yeah. All right. We'll bring him in this way. Well, he's oh, not going. There he comes. He's yeah. not going to be the biggest. Ah, uh, that's okay. But he it thinks might, he is, though. But he may be the last one. He of the thinks day. he is. <laughs> so now, Larry, can we turn you into a cat fisherman? Oh, there we go. Look at I'm a fair weather fisherman. <laughs> <laughs> and today is fair weather. Fair weather today, it is Larry. fair weather. Here we go. Uh -huh. All right, Larry. Still good eating fish. There's right your there. fish, Bo. There's your fish. Boom. As Boom. Jeff Foxworthy used to say, there's your sign. Well, that may have been Bill Ingvall. I'm not sure which. There you go. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I got him. 
All right. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Nice, nice, ah. nice cat. Another one. Nice cat. Another what one. a great day out there. Oh, my gosh. Thank you, both. All right. Thank All you. right. Coming up next, we head to the sportsman's table for a certified South Carolina collard green recipe. South Carolina's Santee Cooper Country invites you to relax and get away from the pressures of everyday life from world-class fishing, golf, camping, or lakeside dining on traditional Southern cuisine. With over 450 miles of shoreline, Santee Cooper is an exciting challenge for fishing, canoeing, and kayaking, offering unique outdoor adventures for the whole family. Santee Cooper Country, discover the natural wonders of South Carolina's Great Lakes. To receive a free newsletter and e-news, just log on at SanteeCooperCountry.org. At sunset, boats are required to display a red and green light on the bow and a white light at the stern. Navigation lights are for others to see you and your intentions. Remember, safe boating is no accident. With the addition of the all-new Silverado HD, Silverado is now the only truck brand that can offer trucks with best-in-class towing or trucks with best-in-class camera technology or larger, more functional beds than any competitor. Proof that the only truck that can compare to a Chevy Silverado is another Silverado. Chevrolet, find new roads. No wake zones are areas on a body of water in which boaters must operate at idle speed. Idle speed is defined as just enough power to maintain steerage and headway. Remember, safe boating is no accident. Florence, South Carolina is full of flavor. From fresh South Carolina seafood to South Carolina grown produce and meats, Florence is the place to find the culinary heritage of the South celebrated. Local restaurant chefs in Florence are dishing up vibrant Southern inspired meals in the PD and the only thing missing is you. Explore our city and plan your food journey to Florence, South Carolina at cityofflorence.com. Full life, full forward, we are Florence, South Carolina. The Sportsman's Table is brought to you by the South Carolina Department of Agriculture. Whether you live in South Carolina or out of state, be sure to buy South Carolina grown meats, vegetables, and fruits. Make sure your food is South Carolina certified. It's a matter of taste. Joining me today from the City Center Market in Florence, South Carolina is Vondell Brockington with Jazz on Dark. And I tell you what, this recipe is going to be a first, and I know you all are going to enjoy it. Vondell? Let's talk about this great, I, I see collards over there, okay? Yes, Tell me it. what we're making. We're making uh, our version of a collard green egg roll. Okay. Um, our ingredients are collard greens, black eyed peas, cream cheese, egg for egg wash, and this is our season that we use to season our collard greens with. Oh, it's okay. Just and salt. I got you. All right. Okay, now I'm holding the pan here with some hot oil, okay? Because okay. I don't want it to get too hot. <laughs> there you go. You know, I set that down, we're gonna turn the oil down. Okay. All right, there we go. Okay. All right, there we go. What's right. first? First, um, after you mix all these things together, because all you have to do is you got to mix them bowl like so. Right. And mix the black eyed peas, collard greens, the, and the cream cheese. And it makes a little mixture, something like this. Oh, right okay. Here. So it's real simple. It's real simple. I got you. And uh, what we're going to do is put it in the egg roll right fast. So all we're going to do is coat the egg roll on the ah. edges. Put that little bit of egg, helps it stick. Oh, just get that in there. Oh, that's going to help. <laughs> that must be an there we go. Asian oriental secret. Uh oh. <laughs> egg rolls, use yeah. eggs? Who would yeah. know that? Who would know that? <laughs> Who would know that? All right, I'm going to take a little handful, a generous handful. Okay. However you enjoy this, you can make it as big as you like. I'm just going to make a little one. I got you. I'm going to take the corners, fold both sides, make sure I get a good little seal. Oh, yeah. I'm going to tuck and roll. Tuck okay. And, roll. and folks, for a copy mm -hmm. of Vondell's recipe. Oh, looky there. Okay. You want right. to make one or you want to make two? You want to see me make two? Make yeah, two. let's there do we, it again. Let's do it again. So yeah. Do one more. Okay. Like I said, a generous amount, however you feel. Mm. I'm going to coat it with the egg. Okay. Oh, this is going into the recipe. Yeah. All the little debris of collard now, green. I have to ask you while you're making this thing. You guys do jazz at right. Dargan. Right. When do you do that? Um, we usually do it during our opening days, uh, Thursday through Sunday. Okay. Um, Sunday we have a one-man band that's always there by himself. Really? And 
So, yeah, we always have live music. And if not anybody live playing, we're playing it over the speakers. Oh, my goodness. Now, do you play? I do not play. No, you don't. I'm a fan, though. I'm a very oh, big fan. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. I'm a supporter. Well, I'm a drummer myself, so okay. I, I okay. played a jazz band years ago. Okay. All right. So, now, what's next? All we have to do is drop it in this oil right here. Oh, my goodness. Get a nice little coat. Now, how long are we going to do that for? Well, you just want to make it golden brown. So you just continue to turn the egg roll until you see it's golden brown. I got you. People like hard cut texture. Some people like a soft texture. It's only your preference. So. Okay. Most of the time, I like them nice and golden brown. All right. Okay, Vondell, these look like they're awesome. They ready? They are, they are done. All right, so I'm ready to, to plate these things. Mm. All right, so what I'm going to do is make sure we don't have any use on them. I like to always cut in the angle. Okay. Turn your knife down. Oh, just yeah. follow through. Nice little connection oh, on there. Good. I like to plate those like that. Oh, look at the steam coming off those too. Mm. Mm. That's a good hot one. I like to cut the hot Now, parts. is this a kind of a, a, is this a main dish at the restaurant or is Actually, this a, an people, appetizer? People come and order just this. Really? No and kidding. we serve it with Korean barbecue sauce. Oh, wow. And this plates. With look at that. And oh. Our collard green egg roll. And it's delicious. It is. So I got to tell you, thank you so much for being a guest on the show. And folks, if you would like to experience more great food in Florence, South Carolina, I tell you what, just like we had today on the Sportsman's Table, come on down. And remember, log on to CertifiedSCGrown.com and see what's fresh on the menu for yourself. We'll be right back here again next week with another great recipe on the Sportsman's Table. To find out more information on food that's fresher and tastier, go online at CertifiedSCGrown.com. Buy Certified South Carolina Grown Products. It's a matter of taste. Football? Nah. Baseball? Did it. Motocross? Got hurt. I choose to fish. And fish. And fish. South Carolina's Santee Cooper Country invites you to relax and get away from the pressures of everyday life from world-class fishing, golf, camping, or lakeside dining on traditional Southern cuisine. With over 450 miles of shoreline, Santee Cooper is an exciting challenge for fishing, canoeing, and kayaking, offering unique outdoor adventures for the whole family. Santee Cooper Country. Discover the natural wonders of South Carolina's Great Lakes. To receive a free newsletter and e-news, just log on at SanteeCooperCountry.org. With the addition of the all-new Silverado HD, Silverado is now the only truck brand that can offer trucks with best-in-class towing or trucks with best-in-class camera technology or larger, more functional beds than any competitor. Proof that the only truck that can compare to a Chevy Silverado is another Silverado. Chevrolet. Find new roads. Southern Woods Plantation. The name itself conjures up images of a time gone by. A time of towering pines, mule-drawn wagons, and covey after covey of Bob White quail. Southern Woods Plantation has been chosen as one of the top six hunting destinations in America. They offer great hunting, comfortable lodging, wonderful food, and world-class dogs. Southern Woods Plantation, where the past can still be experienced today. Bob Red Ferns Outdoor Magazine is being brought to you today by these following sponsors. The South Carolina Department of Natural Resources. Life's just better outdoors. Abu Garcia, Abu Garcia, fish to win. By Southern Woods Plantation, offering the best in Southern comfort in quail hunting. And by Santee Cooper Country, discover the natural wonders of South Carolina's Great Lakes. All right, bring it in. Well, here, Larry, right, switch. Go, no, no, no. Come on, man, switch. That. That's cheating. No, that ain't. Look, we did. I just set the hook. You to get that uh, one in here. Well, I didn't set the hook on the other one. All right, just play it. I got to talk to Doug about Santee Cooper Country. Now listen, 
your life has been spent on this lake basically well and you're still yeah, here yeah pretty much how important is santee cooper country in the tourism you're on the board of directors uh you're you're on the you're in charge of the the guide uh, association here T tell all the folks out there just what this lake means to you and all the rest of the folks here well we have two lakes lake mary and lake moultrie and and uh, santee cooper country basically uh, can't come up up here and uh, net the same. Okay. Santee Cooper Country is, is the promotional commission, state commission. Uh -huh. The lakes, five counties around, and you they see? do an outstanding you job. Outstanding. All right. Don't read it anymore, please. Well, they do, and I, I will tell you, we've been a partner with you guys for a long time, but it's it's just it's so rewarding to and, see the folks they, come down here. And they started the guides association. You know, almost uh, close to two decades ago now, and uh, the God Association has worked with people like Larry Grooms to to come up with some really good uh, fish uh, legislation, and uh, we we really appreciate what Larry's done over the years. It, it's amazing how he's worked with us, and uh, oh, we got a snack. Oh, that's good. It's Maybe a snack. Ah. Well, one of the things too that I want folks to know, and folks, this gentleman has been guiding full-time on this lake since what 2004 2004 I no. retired from the school district and and uh, been doing it since uh, so a teacher a coach a superintendent well not a superintendent no nope. administrative supervisor of there you secondary go. schools yeah superintendent <laughs> no, no. Ken, Ken was even higher than I was there you go well I will tell you Doug thank you for all that you do and I know that the folks the home folk here Really appreciate it. I know Larry does. Larry, come over here with your fish, yeah, man. We, we got, oh, look, we at got look at here. Yeah, look at that. Look at that, look at that fish Everyone right there. Counts, yeah, man. Right? Everybody right. counts. Every fish counts. Yeah, Every I'm fish telling counts. you. I'll tell you what. Well, it, it has just been an honor and a privilege to be just on the same boat, and the honor well, is all mine for both of you guys. Many years ago, we, we uh, started limiting the number of catfish that we catch in this lake, and, and all of a sudden, we started catching more and we was catching them bigger. Bigger. I mean, I had, last month I had three days in a row that we caught fish in the 50 pound range. Oh now my that's, gosh. that's pretty good, you know what I mean? I, I just enjoy it. Well, I've got to thank both of you guys. And buddy, come up here, man. Come on, get up here. We got to, we got to also play tribute here to, to the former director of PRT, my good friend, Buddy Jennings. But you know, folks, I will tell you, it does take a village and it takes everything and all the, the amount of power that you can muster to keep hope alive when it comes to these fisheries. And from your perspective, Larry, you have done that. You spent your life here. World-class fishery right it here. Really is. Absolutely. It really and thank all you guys for being on the show this morning. Mm -hmm. And you caught the last one. Yeah. Okay. And with that, <laughs> folks, listen, we've enjoyed Santee Cooper here this morning catfishing with Doug Allen, Larry Grooms, and Buddy Jennings right here in our own backyard. Bob Redford's Outdoor Magazine. It'll be at a new destination next week. And as I always like to say, each and every week, the outdoors is my passion. I want it to be yours too. We'll see you right back here again next week on another episode.